In this video, we will demonstrate how to use Factor Talk Logics Echo to create a 5580 emulated CPU and then use Studio 5000 to connect to that emulated CPU to download and test application code. To first start by opening the Factor Talk Logics Echo dashboard once you have downloaded and installed it on your computer. On the first time, there will be no controllers present you'll need to create a new controller. Simply go to Devices and choose Add Controller. The controller type will be the Control Logix 5580. You'll provide a name for your emulated CPU. Vision will remain 33.11. If you wish to put a description, type it here. Next is choosing your IP address. Use the loopback test IP address for Windows, which is 127.0.0.1. Your last option is to choose what slot you want to put it in in this emulated controller. You have 17 slots available. Slot 0 is the default. You can have multiple controllers added to your emulated chassis. This is ideal for teams that may want to share this Logix Echo emulator on a networked workstation. We'll choose Add. Our Logix test CPU has been added under devices in slot 00. Double click to see the properties. Before we move on to Studio 5000, we want to make sure that our controller instance is on and that it is shown running or on. That's all there is to set up the emulated CPU. We just now leave Logix Echo running in the background. I go to Studio 5000. I've already created an application that's using a standard L81E CPU. There's no need to change the CPU type here to an emulated CPU. I can take my existing ACD file and download it into the Logix Echo emulator. To do that, I will go to Communications and Who Active to see my available paths. The Logix Echo emulator will use the Ethernet Emulate Ethernet communication topic. I will expand and we will see 127.0.0.1, our Emulate 5580 controller. Highlight that and choose Go Online. And that's all there is to it. At this point, it will allow me to download to the emulator controller. Once the download is complete, I can choose to put the emulator controller into run mode. And now I am online connected to a running emulated 5580 CPU. I can test my logic and connect to HMI or other simulation software to test my application.